Welcome to JavaScript in less than five minutes. I'm Juan Lizarazo. And I'm Jared Potter. And today we're going to be talking about arrow function expressions. So what is an arrow function expression? An arrow function expression, first introduced in ES6, is a special type of function that is not only just a shorthand, but has a few distinct functional differences from a traditional function in JavaScript. Let's go over a quick example with that. So if I create a function called hello, and I go ahead and create a body for it, and all we're going to do inside of here is console.log out a little hello message, and then I go ahead and call this function, it's going to print out that message. With an arrow function, number one, we can't give it a, a, its own name, but we can still assign it to its own variable. So an arrow function is just written by these two curly brackets with parameters potentially being put in, and then an equal sign, and then a greater than sign. And then after that, we can put a pair of curly brackets. And then over here, we can say console.log, hello2, and then we can go and call that reference to that function. It's important to remember that we cannot give these names. These are anonymous functions. They look the same, so how they are different from each other? So there's a few key differences between a traditional function and an arrow function. One of the most important ones refers to the this keyword. This is a special object in JavaScript with, which references the object itself. In the context of an arrow function, this will refer to the parent context. So let's take a look at an example here. So I'm going to create a const person object. And inside of here, we're going to create a few properties. I'm going to create a little, a little message right here that says hello Juan. And then I'm going to create two different functions for printing this out. First of all, I'm going to, I'm going to say print message, and we're going to define an arrow function. We're going to say console.log message, specifically this dot message. And then we're also going to say print message two. And this is going to be a traditional function right here. So we don't need to put a colon. We can just come inside of here and say console.log this.message and close that properly. And then when we call this person dot print message, the arrow function version, we're going to notice that message is undefined because it doesn't exist as part of the parent context. However, if we change this to the print message too, we're going to correctly get the message that's part of this object right here. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to run this yourself and kind of play around with it. But again, the point being is that with a traditional function, this refers to this person object, where this in the arrow function is referring to a global context uh, that does not have message being part of it. In addition to this, this keyword, there's also this thing called the implicit return. So on a normal function, if we create a function uh, universe, universe uh, secret, and we uh, define this, uh, and just let's say we want to just return the value of 42. Well, if we just go ahead and try printing out this universe secret, we're going to get undefined. And that's because with a traditional function, we specifically have to put the return keyword here. And I have to change this to two so that it works correctly. So if we go ahead and print out this function, it's going to work because we're actually explicitly returning. If we wanted to create this as an arrow function, we could say const universe secret three and assign this to an arrow function. Now, what's great is that we can simply just put the value that we want to be returned right here on the same line. So now when we go ahead and call this, it's going to go ahead and automatically return that same value right there. A couple of other small notes. Uh, there's also a special arguments object that comes in with traditional functions that you can access. Although you might not use this directly, it is accessible to you um, and it might be asked in interview questions. And lastly, traditional functions also allow for what's called call, apply, and bind, other topics to take a look into.